Today's Bellic Adventure collaboration theme is Encanto. So let's get cracking! Hello all my explorers and welcome back to Lawrence Adventures Out There. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My name is Lauren and I'm with Castle Escapes and Clones where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. We talk Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, The Muppets, 20th Century, National Geographic, uh, Hulu, ABC, Disney Plus. Uh, if it's about Disney, we are talking about it. So if you like that kind of content, we really love for you to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post, as it really does help us out. Before we go any further, uh, we at Castle Escapes and Clones have discussed this, and we want to say that we support the strikes going on by the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild. Without their labor, the labor of the writers and the actors, uh, we wouldn't be able to talk about these things like we're going to talk about today with Encanto. So um, we just wanted to acknowledge that, wanted to say that we supported it, and we hope you do too. Okay, so we've got another Melic Adventures collaboration. This uh, time the theme is Encanto. And like all of the other collaborations, uh, you can do whatever you want. Some people draw, some people um, make ears, some people do a recipe, some people make something other creative. I like to talk about the things that inspire the movies. Um, I've, you know, talked about real life people, and I've also talked about locations and things like that. So with today's collaboration, uh, I am going to be talking about the colors and the textiles, and the patterns that have inspired Encanto. In Encanto, Casa Madrigal is a multi-generational home that is shared between Mirabel's abuela, her parents, Julieta and Augustine, her sisters, Luisa and Isabella, her aunt and uncle, Peppa and Felix, and her cousins, Dolores, Camilo, and Antonio. So there are a lot of different personas to be brought to life and they needed to differentiate who these characters were and part of that was to give them different colors so in this movie there are two different families um, and first of all we've got Peppa and Felix's family they wear warm clothes such as orange yellow red to represent not only their physical warmth like they're being warm people but also to represent the caribbean feel from which this family has roots by contrast julieta and Augustine side wear cooler tones of blues and purples these colors were chosen to tie in their nurturing and thoughtful personalities then there is the family matriarch, the abuela, of Alma. She sits in the middle. She's um, got reds and blacks and browns. Blue, yellow, and red comprise uh, the primary colors, which connect these families together. Bruno, however, is represented by greens, which is a secondary color, to show that he has been ostracized. Yet green is also a mixture of both blues that represent Julieta's family and yellows that represent Peppa's side, showing that he is also part of the whole. Each Madrigal wears some sort of symbol representing their gift. Alma wears a black shawl, 
which shows the burden she holds to keep her family safe and away from danger, almost to a fall. Peppa, with the gift of controlling the weather through her emotions, wears suns as earrings to continue the sunny warm disposition of the family, as do Felix's warm clothes representing his warm personality. Dolores, their daughter, has the gift of super hearing, so she has a warm red skirt with yellow sound waves. Camilo, their eldest son, can shapeshift and wears a yellow poncho with woven chameleons to represent his ability to transform. Their youngest son, Antonio, has the power to talk to animals. So he wears a vest with animal embroidery. Then we move on to Julieta's family. Julieta is an understanding mother who can heal through food. So she has healing herbs embroidered on her skirt, which shows the calm she can bring to the family. Augustine, Mirabel's father, has a dark blue color palette since he is from the city and that's what people from the city tend to dress. Isabella, the perfect daughter, with the gift of making plants and flowers bloom, has a very ethereal uh, soft palette of lavender with beautiful flowers embroidered on her dress. Luisa, with her magical gift of super strength, has a darker blue and purple skirt with weights embroidered on her skirt to, ke to keep her grounded and strong, but also sensitive with her lighter flowing blouse. Mirabelle's skirt is different. Instead of having iconography of her own, she has that of which represents all members and the gift of her family. Here's a little video of Mirabelle taking me on a tour of her skirt. But your mom also makes arepas. Arepas, uh, those yeah. are my favorite. I, I eat know, them all the time. Good. They're very good. I even have some on my skirt. Look, I, I made it myself, see? Oh my gosh, look at that. Don't they look so yummy? Yeah. Kind of makes me hungry just looking at them. I love that. Look at all the things on your skirt. There's a bunch of things for my family. There's a candle and flowers. This is for Abuela, Isabella, and music notes for Dolores, I and a chameleon, and oh my who's God. that? That's Mirabel. Does it look that's like our, you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Wins. <laughs> Finally, we have Bruno who has hourglasses on his poncho, representing the sand that fills his room. And there you have it. Those are the colors and patterns that inspired Encanto. I just thought that that was such an interesting thing that they did. And I did not notice it, um, you know, when I watched the movie, but looking at it uh, again through fresh eyes and looking uh, at pictures, you really see all of these wonderful details that, you know, I don't think that people truly appreciate in Disney and Pixar films. They really add a lot of details that just skip on by you, but like add. So anyway, that is it. I just wanted to thank uh, Danielle and Ben for again inviting me to be part of these collaborations. Um, support the WGA and SAG after strikes. And um, if you had a good time today, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post as it really does help us out. Visit us on all of our socials down below. And visit our website at www dot castles capes and clones dot com thank you so much and we will see you later bye